Yet again, senators find themselves on the coalition path with the governors as they lock horns over the Senate's move to increase the recurrent expenditure ceiling of 34 counties by 2.5 billion shillings. It is not based on any scientific formula. The increase was arbitrary and it was not for the benefit of all county assemblies. It was selective to certain county assemblies. The money will be largely used for capacity building, car loans and mortgages for the selected county assemblies. Noted that these ceilings were developed after consultations with the county governments. The set ceilings by CRI were meant to promote effective physical responsibility principles as provided for in section 107 of the PFM Act, which explicitly provides that over the medium term, a minimum of 30% of the county government's budget shall be allocated to development. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm good. This is part of the county revenue allocation bill assented to by President Uhuru Kenyatta on Thursday. The new law seeks to put a ceiling on the salaries and allowances county staff can draw. The law has adopted proposals by the Commission on Revenue Allocation that wanted the cap on salaries of the county governments reduced to 6 billion shillings from 6.6 .6 billion shillings. The law further directs that the remuneration of county staff should not be drawn from the national government allocation. This essentially means each county will have to generate enough revenue to cater for their current expenditure. Currently, almost half of the money allocated to counties goes to paying staff salaries. In this year's financial estimates, an additional 1.6 billion shillings was negotiated by the Senate to cater for the increase of salaries and recurrent expenditure to help lessen the burden on the county governments. The law also puts cabinet secretaries directly in charge of conditional allocation resources from the national government. Actually, Simon, for Channel 1 News Hour.